from Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the gold and the Australian dollar markets. And as you can see uh, on the gold market, we have shot straight up in the air during the trading session on um, Tuesday in what has been a very strong turnaround. And let's be honest here. Let's, you know, make no bones about it. We had to save it right here, right where we saved it. Otherwise, it was over for the uptrend or any chance of recovery. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're in the clear and we're never going to fall again, but we are closing to the top of the candlestick and that is important. The question now is, can we break 1750? Well, first, can we break the top of the range for the day and then can we break 1750? This is all about the 10 year yield. If the yield continues to fall like it did during the trading session on um, Tuesday, then that should drive gold higher now if it spikes again and we break down below the lows of the last couple of days i think that drives gold to 1550 maybe 1500 aussie dollar saved itself right here at this uptrend line now this is going to be a little bit of a difficult market for me in the short term uh, mainly because of the the february candlestick is a shooting star and i just don't like that now one thing that you have to keep in mind that between 80 and 81 is massive resistance and it's a it's a point it's a pivot if you will on the monthly chart so if we can get above 81 this is going to be buy and hold this is a whole new leg higher so it's not a huge surprise that we couldn't just simply slice through there on this impulsive move the one thing that has me kind of questioning that shooting star for february is almost all of the wick was in the last two days and we have since stabilized so if we can break above the highs of the tuesday monday and friday candlesticks here at about 77 20 or so i think that opens up the next move to 78 10 78 20 and then eventually an attempt on 80. again i think this comes down to yields in the united states i'm not a seller yet but if we broke 75 i would be short of this market mm -hmm.